Hey everybody, it's Laura here with the Get Clear Show. Oh, today what I wanted to talk to you about was something that my clients come to me with a lot. And they tell me that they are really struggling in areas of finances. And I am no, no financial expert, I don't claim to be. Um, certainly I have helped a lot of my clients do budgeting and I have helped them stay motivated to meet some specific financial goals, especially my business clients. But what I wanted to talk to you about is something that I see so very frequently and I got to have a conversation with somebody yesterday that made me remember, it kind of go back to the roots of, of some philosophies that I have as a life coach. So these people come to me and a lot of times they're really struggling to just pay their basic bills, their light bill, their, you know, make the car payment, keep gas in the car, all of the things that we have to do in order to navigate in our society. And maybe they're just not making enough money, they're not earning enough, or they've gotten overextended somehow and they need to get out of debt, or they've had some the, a loss of an income, whatever the case may be. The one thing that I tell all of my clients is the first thing that I would like for you to do is find a way this week you know, I give them a deadline for this. I would like for you to find a way this week to do something for somebody else. Find a way to give. And of course, the first thing that they say to me is, I don't even have money to put in my own gas tank. How am I going to give to somebody else? Here's what I believe and what I know to be true about life. If you walk around life with your hands like this, your clenched fist hands saying, I can't let go of a single dime because I'm so broke. I'm so poor, then what happens is you've left no room for more money to come in. If you walk around life like this and you're willing to give, you've now left yourself open for more to come in. You can call it the laws of the universe if you want to. I personally believe that that's just the way God designed things to be. He, he wants us to be giving people. So we can talk about that just in terms of money, for example, or we can talk about giving away things like time, giving away your energy to do something for somebody else. Um, there are a lot of ways that people can give, which will help them get in return. I'm going to give you a real quick example of a way that that, that works. I was talking with somebody yesterday that I did an interview with, and you can certainly go check that interview out. It's up on my YouTube channel and um, with a gentleman by the name of Tuan. And Tuan was talking about volunteerism. And it got me thinking, I remember the days when I used to give away a lot of my time volunteering. And there are so many opportunities to volunteer out there that let's say right now you're in between jobs and maybe you have a lot of resumes and applications out there and you've been pounding the pavement and you're trying to get some work and it's just not happening. So all you have on your hands right now is a lot of time, a lot of worry, and a lot of frustration. Head on down to some of your local places and ask them if there's something you can do to volunteer there, even if it's just sweep the floor. And you might think to yourself, how is that going to benefit me? Well, here's what I know. A lot of my clients as a life coach, a lot of the jobs that I was given, a lot of the opportunities that came to me came because I was willing to volunteer. Somebody down there is going to see that you gave up your time, that you were a giving generous person. You gave up your time to go sweep the floor or empty the trash for them, whether that's at your Y or any other organization that you might have in your area. And through that, they might strike up a conversation with you where you have an opportunity to say to them, yeah, well, you know, I'm in between jobs right now and I'm just looking for something to stay busy with. You never know when that person might recommend you to somebody for a job. Say, I met a really great guy the other day. He was downtown sweeping the floor for such and such a place. There are so many opportunities for giving. Let's talk a little bit about the monetary aspect of it. I really believe that $5 may not be much for somebody, but it may be the world for somebody else. And if you were to just buy somebody a cup of coffee, I know it's hard right now sometimes when you don't have money to pay your own bills, but a cup of coffee isn't that expensive. If you were to just pay for the cup of coffee for the, the guy in line in front of you somewhere, or you just make a concerted effort to do something, just a little something, you never know what conversations are going to come out of that and what lives you might touch. And in return, people will want to touch your life back. 
And I mean that in a positive way. So anyway, I really wanted to encourage my clients out there, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> excuse me, and let those of you know that are struggling with some areas of finance in your life that while we can sit down and make budgets all day long, I can't fling doors open for you that you could actually fling open on your own. So take the time to think about your giving value. How much have you been giving? Have you been giving of your time? Have you been listening to people? Have you just been giving of your energy? And yes, have you been giving a few dollars here and there to good causes? Anyway, that's all that I have for now, and thanks for listening. Have a great day.